after Ghana's qualification to the World Cup uh, Qatar 2022, we've seen and heard a lot of foreign-born Ghanaian players uh, want to switch nationality to play for Ghana. And do you know that there's a secret behind this? Uh, most of them, it's not their wish or like it's not them that are chasing Ghana, but it's this Ghana FA and the coaches that are chasing them. And there's a secret behind it. And coach Masaudu Didi Damani has revealed this secret behind uh, all these players trying to uh, switch nationality to play for Ghana. You know, Ghana, whenever, you know, Ghana alone, whenever a World Cup, you qualify for the World Cup, every player wants to be part of it. And Ghana also wants to take advantage of this World Cup and do something important for the country football. And we'll be talking about that secret that Marcel Didi Dramani has revealed right now, right here on this very channel. Guys, my name is Kofi Atinka. I think I want this baby news TV. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, share, like, and comment. Let me know what you think about what Masaudu did drama is saying. Do you think that Charlie that's the right analysis Charlie or Pastor Okova uh in your maso keke? Now let's talk about what Masaudu did drama said. You know uh Nike Williams, uh Idin Ketia, uh Callahan Snow Doy, Pfeiffer, uh Ambrusio and host of others want to switch nationality to play for the blasters. And most people are saying that because of Ghana qualify for the World Cup, that is why uh, they want to switch nationality. But remember when Ghana qualified to the World Cup first in 2006, there were a lot of local boys and also Ghanaian, originally born Ghanaian, those who have played for Blaster for a very long time, took part in that uh, World Cup. But going to 2010, we saw that a lot of guys came, Kevin Prince Boateng came, uh, Adam Kwarasi came. Parase came and uh, also we have a player called Christian Achu also showed up and uh, we got a player called Quincy Uswabe. All these guys came as a result. We qualified for 2006 and also we had opportunity to qualify for the World Cup 2010. Also, all these guys came and after that, we saw how powerful Black Stars uh, became. And um, uh, assistant coach of Black Stars, Masaudu, that's a Didi Dramani on uh, our Europa FM. Uh, this is what he said concerning the, this boy's coming. He said, uh, this worker presents us the opportunity to reconstitute our football. That is why we are bringing in good players born in, uh, in the year 2000 and some experienced players who are even 28 years. So Charlie, he's trying to say that the World Cup has given us opportunity that we can reconstitute and also remodernize and also uh, organize our black stars very well. That's why uh, they want to bring in this young, young uh, players that were born in 2000 and also uh, some are even 28 years that are very strong and also they are very good so that they can help the, the black star. It's a result come automatically when you put the right measures in place. We cannot speak about uh, Qatar 2022 World Cup without uh, the regulation of Asika Akono. Also, like after this, he was giving a shout out to him, say shout out to Siki Akono and those who help in Black Stars qualification. So, if you listen carefully, what uh, he said, uh, he was trying to say that yes, Ghana has qualified, so we need to bring in good players that can help uh, after 2022 World Cup. Like 2006, we we uh, we qualified and we brought in good players. 2010, we went, it was massive, and after on, we had a good Black Star team. A very fantastic team. so that's why you bring in they are bringing in young players that are 21 22 23 so that after world cup they can go to afcon they can be build a solid team for the blasters not that they are very far from cover so that's the major secret major reason why he that, that's the black stars are uh, want to bring in this uh Odoy, Lamte and Edin Ketia them so that they will build a foundation strong foundation for the future blast and it's also uh, he said that Dali Sika Kono those or that uh, coaches help in uh World Cup qualification so this is the real reason why all these guys GFA and also the coaches are chasing these boys so that they will uh, naturalize and play for the blasters of Ghana and let me know do you think is genuine do you think that what you're saying is a real thing or because hey Charlie you can be in Fankata because of Marbury or you think it's a genuine idea genuine thing that these boys will come and help the blaster build a solid and a strong squad for our uh, black stars when uh, after World Cup 
2022 in Qatar. Do you think so? Or you think it's a camouflage? But for me, I believe it's a good idea because we need to build a solid team. We cannot just wake up and take any team to go to AFCON that want to win it. We need to build a solid and fantastic. This is Betty News TV, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit notification button, share, like, and comment.